Ulfric Stormcloak, Yarl of Windhelm. Ladies and gentlemen, long have we waited, but the wait is finally over. Welcome to the Grand Delacrim, the Pies de Resistance, the magnum opus of Skyrim builds, the unarmed purest build, the first legendary no nonsense, no exploit guide to becoming an unarmed badass. Because we are going for the unarmed build, pick the cat. I like to make him as scrawny as possible, after my own image. And we'll christen him Feline Fister. You with one of the trade caravans, Kedgy? Get some casual racism from Hadvar. Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. And the death the sentence for the captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your men serve time to Elswell. Follow the captain, prisoner. Okay, so during the exciting exposition, I might as well explain the rules of the build. Rule number one, no magic, one exception. We'll have to gain entrance to the college. By the way, look at that smirk. Rule number two, no followers, unless we are forced to take them. Or we use them as a pack mill. Rule number three, no blocking, no shield bashing. Rule number four, obviously fists only. One exception, we'll have to use a weapon to capture souls. Rule number five, no sneaking. This guy is all about being up close and personal. Rule number six, keep the cheating to a minimum. Rule number 96, concentrate. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. As you wish. Come on, I haven't thought all morning. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. You say the same. Luckily, they drained most of his blood beforehand, so it's not a big mess. As fearless in death as he was in life. There it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. Mount this lifeless body, doggy style. What in oblivion is that? Sentry, what do you see? It's in the And we're off. Up the stairs, through the hole, you know the drill. Run through the town, and take a right on the first intersection. So we'll go with Rayloff, because he has the heavy armor. We'll meet again in Solitaire, brother. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. 
just like the children's stories and the legends, the harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I... There you go. May as well take down your gear. We won't be needed. So you don't have to loot the body. It's light armor. We don't need it. And let's practice the fine art of cup stacking while waiting for the Imperials. Not bad. That's a nice one. Alright, so a few words about combat. Just run and wait for them to overextend. Then charge in and slap them. So it's basically Dark Souls. Cheeky upskirts on this channel. Maybe one of these had the so loot the armor. Of course, I forgot to loot the key. Let's see here. No need to take the weapons. Here we are. Found the key. Let's see if it opens that door. Hot. Come on. Let's get out of here before the dragon brings the whole tower Grab down the cabbage. And let's proceed. For my next trick, grab the ingredients. There's that. I admit I'm kind of cheating the system here, but it only gets better. Grab the dagger and the studded armor. See if you can find any potions. We'll need them. No need for the magic potion. Grab the rest. <coughs> Done. Let's get moving. Now watch out to not provoke the torture. Because you stand no chance against him at this stage. Nice suplex there. Almost missed it the first time. Grab the robes and the shield. Wait a sec. Looks like there's something in this cage. See if you can get it up. And with some picks. Might need that gold once we get out. Loot the skeletons, spooky scary ones. Then we should probably wait for the soldiers, but I'm being kind of cheeky here. Thank you. 
Slap away. Only take the daggers. No need for the rest. We're trying to tell me that I can dodge arrows. Not that one. A little combat hit. When I get low on health, I'm equipped the shield to finish him off. Best of both worlds. Gold, the potion, a bit more gold. Now, here you should watch out for the poison spit. If it's from the big ones, it's an instant kill. You'd have to chuck potions of healing and we don't want to do that luckily the spiders don't really do much physical damage except for the poison so take down our arachnid friends Chug one there. Loot the eggs. And, and that's the bear. Just run up to her and Slap her butt. And we forgot to remind ourselves that overconfidence, you know the quote. And we also forgot to quick save, so here's the second try. And that's it for Helgen. We have successfully escaped. Wait. Now next up on the list is discovering the standing stones. So just make a beeline for them. Activate the warrior stone. Make a beeline for the north shrieking bastion, I think. If you come across some wolves in the way, you probably will. Just don't let them gang up on you. Fight them one at a time and you should be okay. And here's what we were looking for. Tag the North Shriekwin Bastion. Go upstairs. Pick up the healing potion and a soldier. And the last location here is the Lady Stone. Nice. Two 
too close for comfort. And just swim to the island. There's usually some enemy nearby, it's probably a slaughterfish or something, so just we might as well run to the half moon mill and discover it. Okay then, so travel back to the standing stones. From here it's straight to Riverwood. Some wolves on the way. Oh yeah, tag Ambushed Mine. Here are the walls, same deal as before, one at a time and you should be fine. Riverwood to-do list, make friends with Sven, grab supplies, grab supplies from Helga, or whatever her name is, and uh, chop some firewood. After that we can go to White Rock. That letter ought to convince Camilla to never. Now that's what I like to hear. Good work. I suppose Master Neloff won't mind. He's always telling me to get out of his way. Still here. What do you want me to carry? What do you want me to carry? What do you want me to carry? I'll head back home if you need me. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose, for a North Village. Like they knew exactly where we be. New to Riverwood? Oh, it's actually Girder. Go see how. Of course. Oh, what's this all about? What are you two doing here? Such a memorable character. Did I forget her name? I saw earlier. I don't know. Things just go. The Yarl. We need to get the cowards. They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Please, we're fighting for your own people. Get out of here, Pandel. Next time, you might want to get dressed before leaving. Let me show you how it's done. You take two axes. Rain 
Straight to white giant. One wolf on the way. Shouldn't be a problem. A few slaps solves the problem. When you arrive at the gates of White Run, pick the first option because it doesn't level us up. White Run to do list. First off, start Carlotta's favorite quest. Then head to the inn. Sell some firewood to the innkeeper. Now we can loot most of the stuff here for free. So take the ingredients, take the cheese, that's a poor man's health potion, and take the sweets as well. Some tomatoes. And that's about it. Yeah, it's now we can kick the bard's ass. This, I'm sorry. I don't have to take that from you. The, the trick to winning brawls in Skyrim is pretty simple. It boils down to alternating between the W and S keys. When they throw away a power attack, just hold us for a bit longer. Works every time. It's all about footwork. And we can let her punch us a bit to level up our heavy armor. There we go. Down you go. And a quick 100 bucks. Let's speak to Carlotta for some easy money. And now we can loot her stall. So take pretty much everything. Ingredients. Vegetables. And the cheese. Up the stairs and to Dragon's Reach. Speak with the yard. Now loot to the kitchen. Take the ingredients, the vegetables, you should know by now. Also the cheese. Let's 
let's go grab some vegetable soup. And finally, let's talk to Feynell. And by Feynell, I of course mean Ferengar. And start the favorite quest. By asking him if he's the only mage, the only wizard. And that's it for today. Join me next time as we take care of business in Riften. Have a good one. Bye.